Joined now by Boston College head coach, Coach Jeff Halfley. And Coach is not sitting behind the desk at his office. Coach is out with his coaching staff. And it's well-deserved steak dinners, maybe some drinks for all, because arguably the best recruiting class in Boston College history. You nab three four-star commits. You got an ESPN 300 quarterback, a top 30 class nationally. Coach, how you feeling? I'm feeling great. That's why we're out here in Boston. I got uh, the staff inside having some dinner and drinks, well-deserved. I mean, these guys have worked hard. Two weeks on the road, getting ready for a bowl game. I walked around the office, said everybody's leaving. Let's go out. This one's on me, so uh, we're going to enjoy it. we got a great class, great kids, great people. My first uh, in-person recruiting class as a head coach, so I'm pumped, guys. Coach, your first time in person with these guys, how much fun was that to see them go to these house visits, see them in person? Oh, it was unbelievable. I mean, think about this, Eric. Last time I was recruiting, I mean, the guys showed up in June, and I was praying that they were really 6'2 and not 5'7 and looked like me. I mean, that was... This time I got to go in their living rooms, meet their parents, meet their brothers and sisters, and really get to know them and feel like what they're all about. Do they love ball? Do they love people? Do they fit BC? And gosh, we signed 21 kids who fit us. And I, I am fired up. But when they all signed today, I mean, what a great feeling that was as a head coach and just so proud of our staff. Um, we love these guys, and I'm just excited. I'm excited to be able to celebrate with them tonight. Coach, I wanted to ask you about your big-time receiver signing and Joseph Griffin Jr., a 6'4 receiver coming out of the state of Massachusetts, which I think an opposing coach said you guys didn't have any players coming out of there. Uh, but what makes him special as a recruit coming into BC? I'm fired up you mentioned him. You know, I think he's the best player in the state, which we were able to keep home two years in a row. He's long, can jump through the roof, has great ball skills, huge, huge hands. He's tough. We watched him play basketball the other night. He's catching alley-oops. Um, really excited to see this guy run around, have Phil throw him some footballs. Um, great kid, great family. Really pumped about him. Coach, I know you loaded the boat with these uh, high school kids in this class on this signing date, but there's obviously the transfer portal. Do you guys strategically hold some spaces back for, the, for that purpose to, to get someone in the portal later on after the signing date? Yeah, we'll hold a couple back, but we're not done recruiting high school players either, Coach. Um, you know, portal's an interesting thing. You know, you go into these schools, you see all these high school players who don't have a home. They're not being recruited anymore. I believe in recruiting the high school players. Let's go develop them. Let's give these kids a chance. I want to build this thing through time. I don't think you can sustain it the right way and build a culture through the portal. And we'll dabble in it. But we signed 21 high school players today. Um, and I'm excited to develop them as people, coach, uh, to coach them up, how to play ball. Uh, that's important to me, and that's why we went out and signed so many. Coach, you look at your ESPN 300 signee, and it's the quarterback in Peter Delaportis, uh, but he doesn't need to be a plug-and-play guy right away because you nabbed an all-important guy coming back next season who means a lot to your program in Phil Dracovic announcing his return. What was behind those conversations that ultimately led for you to get your guy back up there in the Northeast in Chestnut Hill? Yeah, that's the number one recruit right there. And I'll say that uh, with the way the football football is right now and people leaving places, you got to take care of your own guys. You got to love your own guys. You got to recruit your own guys. You got to make them feel really important. Phil and I had a lot of conversations, just listened a lot, talked about his development. I mean, you guys know to be ready to play in that league mentally and physically to walk into that huddle, you got to be ready. And, and he wants to make sure he's ready physically, mentally, health wise. And this guy's on a mission. He's going to come back and lead this team. He wants to help recruit. He wants to win big. Uh, he wants to be the first quarterback picked in the draft. And he's got all that to look forward to. And we're really excited. Shoot, we just got some police cars and ambulances driving by. Oh. We got it all in Boston tonight, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, it's cold outside. You're clearly causing a ruckus out it's there. It's beautiful. It's beautiful <laughs> out here. What's we the got Christmas trees? I mean, look at this backdrop right now. Coach, before I let you go, the all important question What are we toasting the group to? What's our drink of choice when you head back in there with no. your staff and celebrate this historic class? Hey, whatever they want. Tonight it's on me. They can have it all. We're going to enjoy this one. I'm proud of the staff. Uh, I feel like we just played a game and won a game. And, and, and I want to live. You know, I, I want to enjoy these moments, not lock them back up in the office and say, oh, we got to get ready for the next class. No, let's go enjoy this because they work damn hard and I'm proud of them. Coach Jeff Halfley. Coach Half Amen. simply gets it. We appreciate the time, Coach. Best of luck with that new talent you got coming in. I appreciate it. Merry Christmas, everybody.